Hello, welcome to Timberborn Update 4. That's right, we got a huge update yesterday, and I'm really excited to dive right in. We're going to go ahead and start a brand new game with the Iron Teeth, because they got a huge update to their food supply chain and a whole bunch of other new stuff we're going to talk about in just a minute, as soon as we get loaded into the game. And we're also going to play the brand new map that just dropped with the update, which is Craters. It's a 192 by 192 size. Go ahead and get that. And then we're going to play on hard because, well, let's face it, that's pretty much all we do on this channel anymore. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll talk to you after the break. All right, so of course we're going to have to call this some variant of Beaverburg. I believe this is Beaverburg 9. The uh, Beaverburg 8 was the last one we're going to pick up again at a later date because we got to play with the new update and all the fu fun, shiny new toys now. But yeah, here is Beaverburg 9. Let's come out and take a look at the map. Yeah, so this is the new Craters map. It is a, well, series of three Craters. I'm going to go into uh, dev mode so I can zoom out and show you guys the entirety of the map. Go ahead and uh, hide this again. All right, so you can see, kind of like Mickey Mouse, huh? You got your district center. Starts right here. You have this whole big area with the water coming in on this side of the map. Kind of meandering down here. Goes down a nice waterfall. And then comes all the way around through this tight little corridor here, then splits up into two exits. And there's also a couple of areas here where it can go out of the map right here. And then it can also travel into the interior of the map if it gets high enough to uh, get over this little lip right there. And there's a couple other spots as well, plus a barrier here we can remove. That'll let it flow out on this side. So that's more or less the size of it. We will, I'm sure, explore that in due time. Let's go ahead and get out of developer mode and start proper. Actually, I need to uh, relock the camera, I think. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. All right, so we're all good to go. I'm going to very quickly give you guys a rundown of all of the stuff that is done in this new update. Of course, you can read the full change log over on Steam or via the Timberborn website or what other resources you might have at your disposal. But we'll just go ahead and go over a little bit of this right now before we get going. All right, so let's go ahead and run through this update real quick. Again, I won't go into too much detail because time is valuable in these videos, but uh, I did want to highlight a couple things for you. First off, district limits are gone. No more of that nonsense. I know we had a lot of trouble with that in the past, so it's good to see that that has been removed. Uh, they've also reworked the distribution. We'll get to that a little later on. And there's been massive performance increases, reports of up to 80% FPS gains, which is amazing, considering how large we like to build our settlements and how much of an FPS problem we tend to have. We already talked about the new map we got that we're playing right now, and a brand new food production chain. Every crop has been replaced, pretty much, so all of the stuff we're used to from the uh, folktales and the older Iron Teeth plays are gone. No, no more carrots, no more wheat, no more potatoes. No more of any of that stuff. The aquatic crops are gone, replaced with something else entirely. So we have all sorts of new crops, and I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce some of these, but I'm going to do my best. We've got a kohlrabi, I believe, would be the uh, correct pronunciation of that. If if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. I am always, always down to be corrected. But So that's kind of the uh, early game. Just this is sustenance and nothing else food. So that's what we're going to be planting right off the bat, I'm sure. We have canola, which we can use to produce canola oil in a new building we'll get to in a second. Uh, cassava, I believe, maybe. Some some sort of something we can ferment, as well as soybeans that we can ferment. Uh, corn, which is a fun one to have, which will turn it into rations at the food factory. As well as eggplants, that we can do that there as well. We have a new type of tree, mangrove trees, that we can grow in water, which will yield fruit and also can be cut for some logs. And we also have coffee bushes, which is an Iron Teeth exclusive, as are all of these new things uh, that we can grow in the forester, like a bush, like we would have done with the uh, berries and all that stuff before, which yield beans. Then we can roast in a brand new coffee-only building. Kind of fits the Iron Teeth vibe. And of course, to support all this, we have a fermenter, which is a brand new building, which will, as the name might suggest, ferment stuff. Produces fermented cassava, soybeans, and mushrooms, which we'll get to in a little bit. We also have a new oil press, which squeezes oil, as one might expect, out of canola seeds. Hydroponic gardens. This is a really exciting one, because these are stackable, and they're industrial food production, kind of taking the place of the aquatic farmhouse. 
but it's going to allow us to really, really ramp up production of those kind of foods. And those will grow mushrooms and algae, which are going to be interesting to see how that uh, stacks up, <laughs> literally. And then we have a food factory. Now, we had a mod in Update 3 that would kind of make packaged foods. We call them the Beaver Lunchables. Now, this is the real deal in the official game, doing a similar thing, producing industrial rations from all the other foods we're growing. And then in the coffee brewery that I said earlier, got a new tree, oak trees. Takes 30 days to grow, yields 8 logs. Previously, the maple tree would have yielded 8 and taken 24 days to grow. Now the maple tree is uh, folktale exclusive. Still takes 24 days, but only yields 6 logs. So, and joining them as well is the chestnut tree, and then... Those are going to be Folktales exclusives. We already talked about the Lord Log Guilds and then all the other new buildings replacing the outgoing Aquatic Farmhouse, Grill, Gristmill, and Bakery. So we won't see those again in an Iron Teeth save, but, you know, that's what happens. Progress requires sacrifice. We also have a couple new things. We've got new monuments that are going to replace the things that we had in the previous edition of the game. Notably, the farmhouse has been reworked. The existing farmhouse that we know from the previous version of the game has now been renamed the Efficient Farmhouse, and it's gained an additional worker slot, and now it is a folktale exclusive. So the Iron Teeth have their own farmhouse that is slightly smaller. It's a 2x2 two two instead of a 2x3 building, and it still holds two workers, as well as we get a new industrial lumber mill, which holds two workers and is slightly reworked from the design of the original. That is an Iron Teeth exclusive. And then uh, the original lumber mill stays with the folktales with the uh, single worker and it's a lower requirement for logs to build. And we got some new art and some new designs for some of the different other buildings, including Campfire, Forester, and Tapper Shack, which we'll see in a little bit. The district rework is going to be a great thing because a lot of people have been asking for a very long time for this to be addressed, and we had some of these problems actually solved with mods, like the fantastic Choo Choo mod that we used so much in our previous playthroughs. So to summarize, districts no longer have range limits, the uh, colored range lines are going to stick around on the path so we can know exactly how far away we are, and buildings are now going to have a counter inside the dialog box that will tell you how many squares away from the district center they are with a little message saying, hey, you're kind of far away, you might want to build another district. But if you want to do it that way, it's not going to stop you. And then now a big one, this distribution rework. We have a new building called the District Crossing that has to be researched with science and replaces the district gate and also, to a certain extent, replaces the distribution post to the drop-off point because now those have been made redundant. They've been removed from the game. So basically, this building will automatically balance resources between districts. You're not going to have to assign what gets placed where and all that. So there's now going to be an additional toggle to storage buildings called Supply, which is going to use haulers and district crossing workers to pick up the goods from the storage and redistribute them to other warehouses. As well as a lot of optimization quality of life, UI improvements, game balance, audio, some visual tweaks, miscellaneous fixes, and all that fun stuff that you can read up on if you are really interested. But let's go ahead and just dive right on in with brand new playthrough and get started. All right, so here we are. Cycle one, day one, hard mode. We've got this whole map at our disposal and a brand new set of things to work on. Uh, just of note here, we're probably going to want to dam as soon as we can just to keep a little bit of water here for the first drought. Don't know how long that's going to be. I have not played on a quote-unquote default difficulty setting in a very long time. We've been doing that crazy custom stuff for a while. But let's go ahead and jump right on in. Wow, there's so much missing here without all my mods. Yeah, we're, we're completely vanilla because the update literally launched today and all of the mods are broken. <laughs> Thought I was going to have to reinstall the game to get everything to work, but managed to pull it off. So let's take our uh, pathway here, connect up to uh, this little guy right there, and let's start, of course, setting out a lumberjack flag. I think I'll just go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll just stick this right here, probably is fine. Yeah. Yeah, you can see now we're dragging out the path and it has that green line on it. That's a nice improvement. Okay, so that's going to get them started with that. We're going to go right into planting with our brand new farmhouse. You notice it is a slightly reworked design. Kind of looks almost more like a classical barn with the uh, the roof like that. And that little, uh, I don't know what the term is for it, but the, uh, the wood bracing on that door or that window, whatever that's supposed to be. Very, very classic farm-like. So we're going to go ahead and stick a farmhouse right here. 
I can't forget to allow tree cutting. These are all pines up here. We haven't gotten any oaks yet. I actually haven't looked around the map to see if there are any. Oh, here they are, these big thick boys right here. Yeah, there's our oak trees next to some berry bushes. We'll get to them a little later. Are these dead oaks? Yes. All right, cool. So they're a very wide, not super tall tree, but they are wide, which is cool. Go ahead and mark these trees for cutting. Then get started on that. We've got our farmhouse we'll build with the very first logs we get. And then right after that, we'll go ahead and start pumping. Because just for the uh, sake of survival here, I'm going to just go ahead and pop one of those guys right there. And then let's go ahead and start planting crops. Now, again, this is entirely new. All new crops. Uh, these uh, corn and eggplant and all that stuff, we can't do anything with until we get further along with the food factory. But that's going to take some time to get to. It requires metal to build, of course, as long as the hydroponic garden requires metal. But our fermenter is already unlocked from the start, as is the oil press, so that's going to be exciting to get to work on that in today's episode. And then, aside from that, pretty much every other building has stayed more or less the same. Of course, we're missing all the modded stuff, but we do have our district crossing new thing right here. We still have a hauling post, and we have the district center. And builder set, of course, we can unlock. So lots to get into. I'm going to go ahead, since we don't quite have the farmhouse built, we should go ahead and get out in front with some crop planting. Of course, our kohlrabi is again probably the very first thing we're going to grow for quite a while. Just put those guys right there. Let them get started as soon as that pops up. And of course, we still have all of our, our barracks and our row houses and our breeding pods and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with a pair of breeding pods. We will need them. We're not on nightmare mode, so it's not like it's going to be the worst thing ever to have a whole bunch of those. We'll go ahead and stick our gatherer flag right there so they can start gathering these berries. Because we're going to need them. They're waiting on logs, of course. I think we have enough, we have enough resources that we need to make sure that we can actually get... Well, of course, it's it's the night time. Not anymore. Get to work. Our motto is work hard, work hard. Don't just sit there. There we go. Build that lumberjack flag. Put on turbo speed. Now get, get cooking. And, well, I guess not literally cooking. We can't cook anything anymore. It has to be fermented. Yeah, but get going on it. Let's get our berries. We got some more trees over here. And I don't think we're going to want to get rid of these barriers just yet, because that is a one-way ticket to water go bye-bye. So let's not do that. Eventually, I think we are going to dam this and maybe put in some nice big water wheels, because we do have those, and we can use them. We're not going to have 49-day droughts. We can actually use water wheels. I know, what a concept, right? There they go, planting all of the fantastic new boring crops to feed our beavers in about three days. These grow really quick. Three-day calendar yields two units apiece. Can be eaten raw, of course. And then after that, we'll move on to cassavas, which have to be, uh, I think, in the uh, the fermenter. But that requires power. Everything in the Iron Teeth has been more uh, industrialized now with this update. So we're going to have to build a power wheel. One power wheel, one fermenter. So we will get there. Oh, and these guys are getting hungry. So you know what that means means it's time to feast on some berries we brought with us. Oh, that's fine. These are both... Uh... Ow, this is a bigger uh, it's a bigger thing now. It used to just be kind of a little loading bar. Now it's actually like a full-size thing with breeding progress in it. I think that's a nice uh, improvement there. Also, the flavor text is always fun. I think this one's old, but it's, it's still fun nonetheless. I don't think we have any new ones. Popular beaver song, yeah. That beaver's name is uh, Monty Python. <clears throat> By putting berries in a basket, beavers accidentally came up with a tasty dessert. How does one accidentally come up with a tasty dessert? Anyway, let's go ahead and put in a... Uh, I guess we can go ahead and put in a, uh, a warehouse to start storing some of this stuff. 
We are going to need one for berries to support our... Oh, look at all this new stuff. Of course, these are the new items. But we could definitely use that to support our newborn beavers. That will hopefully exist at some point. You're joking. We already have a drought in three days. Well, it is hard mode, so... I don't know what I expected, to be perfectly honest with you. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead... We've got the dam. Oh, I put this on this side, huh? I can't build a levee yet. These are 20. Can I can I get any further than this? It's going to be five of these, 100 logs. Something tells me we're not going to be able to do that, but I can. I can do this. So we'll just do these three right here. We can always rebuild this somewhere else, but we need to get that dam in place. Because uh, I don't know how long the drought's going to be. Of course, I guess I can't really be too panicky when I just did a 35 episode series with 49 day droughts. It's those first time jitters. You know how this goes. We should start having some of this stuff in, uh, well, the next day. And I think they can uh, cut enough of these trees down to put this dam in place. Hopefully. We'll see, I suppose. But it's going to be a uh, Interesting. As long as we have enough to uh, sustain our beavers for a little while, I think we're going to be okay. And now we're harvesting, harvesting. Looking good. Oh, now it says kohlrabis. I guess that's the uh, the plural is add the ES at the end. I remember my root words from second grade English class 20-something years ago. My god, that was 25 years ago, really? All right, well, let's let's pretend not to remember that, and uh, hopefully they can get this a damn bit. Looks like they're going to be just fine. All right, so now that'll back up a little bit more water. We'll get that stored up. It looks like it's actually already almost at capacity, which is fine, I suppose. And then we'll start looking toward the future. We're going to go ahead and put in a, an inventor so we can, you know, invent. Of course, now that we have our dam built, we should be all good to go on that front. Should have a couple new beavers, hopefully soon-ish. I do wish it had like a day countdown instead of just a progress bar, but I also probably should know what the interval on this is at this point. I just never thought about it, to be perfectly honest with you. Right, we, that's a new sound, I think, unless I'm just dumb. At any rate, we're going to get some more science, which we can use to start planting trees and other fun stuff as soon as we unlock our forester. Now, again, here is our industrial lumber mill. It now takes 75 horsepower. It was 50 before. Now it takes 75. And we're about to find out just how much of a drought we're going to get here to start off with. Hopefully it's not a huge one because I would like to actually be able to uh, get some more stuff. Okay, five days. Is, that's cake. Piece of cake. We're going to be all good to go. Just fine on that. There goes all our water. Pause the pump. And I think um, 34 water is not going to be enough to last five days, but we can build another one. And they'll get to work on that. No problems there. I'm going to go ahead and start planting cassavas here. We can start harvesting those. And then we're going to get into power wheel. I guess uh, I should probably build this stuff over here. Find a nice, uh, a nice spot. We'll put that power wheel there. And then we have our fermenter. It's actually a 1x3 building. Nice and compact which I guess also has the downside of being kind of hard to uh, construct nicely. But we'll stick that there. If we have to put another one in, we'll probably just do something like that. But one wheel to one fermenter is going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze in terms of... Uh, boy, this is hideous and ugly. It's going to be kind of a tight squeeze in terms of fitting things where they're supposed to go, but at the very least, we'll be able to start messing with this stuff. 
just as soon as we grow some of these. I'm going to go ahead and pause because we can't do anything with these yet. We'll let them finish building that at the very least. In terms of food, we should probably also build storage for our uh, new kohlrabis over here. I know our layout's not very beautiful yet, but we'll get there. We will get there, friends. I just have to remember what is what. These brand new things are messing with me. All right, algae, canola seeds. Nah, 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 nah. All right, found Michael Robbie's right here. We'll stick that right there as soon as they finish building. And we're pumping water out now, which we probably should stop because we're looks like we're going to go through this really fast. So we'll avoid doing that. Now we have run through most of the trees. We do have some more growing, which is nice. And in a little bit, we can research our forester. Then come over here and start uh, cutting down these trees as well. But the good news is we do have plenty of berries for our little ones here. Uh, are we really that far out of logs? Okay. Do we have... Oh, there is a slope here. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and cut these down. I think we should still be in range for... Well, most of these. That's a-okay. We have enough science to research foresters. Let's go ahead and do that. And we did get a new model. I think it looks really nice. Let's find ourselves a good spot to put maybe um, right around right around here, huh? We'll just move stuff around. It doesn't have to be the most beautiful thing in the world. But that is looking pretty cool. Looks a little bit more agricultural, actually, I think. The old one I thought was more industrial, but we can be excited about that. It'd be cool to have some more trees planted. Uh, oaks are going to take way too long early game for us to really rely on. They nerfed the maples and then took them entirely out in the first place for us, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, probably for right now, just go ahead and plant some more pines, although I'm going to plant some of the oak trees. We're just not going to fully rely on those. This entire area here is all... Pineland. Let's not forget to keep our uh, path open here. Yeah, we'll just do that like so. I think these guys can actually plant down here. Yeah, these are all birch trees. And it's nice to have a healthy mix in the early game, so we'll stick those down here also. Of course, these being all... Uh, all pines is probably going to be just fine. I don't know that we're going to have all of this irrigated this far. We'll find out, I guess, when the drought is over. We're out of water, so let's unpause all of that. Yeah, I know we're, we're up steady spaghetti over here. We have a no shelter. Half of us are uh, thirsty. Oh, man, I'm not used to seeing these all with the zeros. We did so well in our last uh, full playthrough. We'll have some cassavas here in a little bit. About another full day's worth, so sometime in the beginning of cycle two, we'll see that pop up. Oh, I don't have the rotating sun mod anymore, that's right. I was about to say, hmm, it doesn't look entirely right. Well, that's because I don't have all the stuff I got used to for the last several hours of gameplay. Well, that's all right. Go ahead and turn both of those pumps back on in preparation for the next cycle. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Cycle 2, day 1. Water's coming back in. We're starting to amass a few crops. And we're very close to having these guys, which means we can turn on our fermenter, which is going to be fun. Let's get that set up here. Fermented cassavas takes two hours and, uh, of course, requires power to work. We're storing here. Looks good. Here comes our water. All right, great. So that's actually going to cover most of uh, 
most of this whole area for planting, so that's cool. We just have to get our forester built, which of course is going to require, you guessed it, an industrial lumber mill that's going to share power with none other than our fermenter. So we'll go ahead and let them get to work on that. And then I'll go ahead and as soon as we see this pop up as being finished, we'll go ahead and turn on the power wheel. Let them run this at a poor efficiency for a little bit of time before we uh, turn on our fermenter because we don't really have too much. We do have some of this stored up already. Let's go ahead and get that going. We now have four kits. So there we go. We're just going to have one working in the industrial lumber mill, making some blanks for us to get our forester done. And we can plant so much other stuff. I kind of want to go ahead and get into stuff like the coffee, but that requires a whole lot more stuff we don't have. So we have to maintain our self-control and only plant stuff we can actually use, like blueberries and dandelions and, you know, other trees. But the good news is we are well on our way to getting a forester. I guess we can take him off 20-hour days. That's not really super necessary. Is that guy complaining about his teeth being broken? I guess we should probably put it on a teeth grindstone since we have these guys grinding away. I don't think this model changed that much. I probably said it did change in the intro and I just completely forgot because you know that's how these things tend to work here. Yep, slowly making progress. Operating at a 30 horsepower, huh? So why is that outputting 50 and this one's only getting 30? Is it is it calculating loss? Oh, it's still sharing even though the building's turned off. All right, well, in that case, we might as well just turn this on anyway. That's fine. We do have some cassavas to put in for fermentation. As soon as those are fermented, then they can be eaten. Which our beavers, I'm sure, will rejoice at the opportunity of uh, doing there. We still don't have enough for our forester, huh? There we go. And just like that, they can start planting away. Stuff is looking nice. We can start thinking about more stuff to uh, stick in. What we really need is to get some more power options. And we can go ahead and put in some water wheels. I'm kind of uh, reluctant to just go all the way across like this. Is this actually going to let me... Uh, oh, okay. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put in two like that. Because I think all I have to do is just put a uh, pathway in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. We can go ahead and research. Uh, we don't quite have a hundred, but we will in a second. Go ahead and research a platform. And then we can actually just have this go all the way across here. These don't really generate that much power. But it is power we can use throughout the entire cycle until it's, uh, well, gone. But you already knew that. One thing we probably should do is dam this up down here. Hey, we got a well-being of three. That's got to count for something, right? Love to see that. Now, can I cut this? Now, oh, hey, three more days. We're not going to be able to dam this up. That's, uh, that's too bad. But can I... Did I really try to plant something here? Really? It really is a shame. Because this one... You know this one's going to be a much longer longer deal too. So I guess what we should do... Can't really uh, do any of that stuff yet. We can come in here. And put in some more of these. Come on. Let me click on it. Will you? There we go. That's right, I was going to do a platform that we're pretty soon and not going to be able to use, but, you know, that's uh, that's just the way it goes. That is what tends to happen here. So, we are fermenting. I guess they're pretty much eating that immediately. And yeah, we're not really growing too much of that anyway. It's just a shame we're not going to be able to dam this up. We just don't have enough time. Although I guess if we had a robust enough setup for 
taking care of the rest of the stuff, we probably could get it done. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and build across here. We've got six of these. Eventually it's going to have to turn into something else, and we don't have the logs anyway, so we shouldn't really be worrying about it, but maybe by the time the next drought rolls around, we'll be able to have our dam set up here. We are making a glorious 200 horsepower that we cannot use because we are waiting on logs and planks. That's the way it goes. I think our guys can't... Yeah, me too, dude. Our guys can't reach down there, so I'm going to actually move our uh, lumberjacks up there. Free up some additional space here for some other storages of different types of food, but for right now we have some more, some more pressing needs. We just need these guys to uh, get after it and, uh, you know, actually do something. We just need some more logs, really, is what it boils down to. I'm going to set this up to be cut. How close do I have to get over here? Actually, this isn't a bad spot to... Okay, that is a bad spot. That's not quite the... Not quite the correct spot. Just extend our path out this way. And they'll be able to cut down all those trees. That's looking good. Let's get this uh let's get this water tank first, please. <laughs> so we don't accidentally kill our beavers. That'd be nice. Yeah, we really, really need to get some more of this food food situation going here. Uh soybeans we could also potentially get into. Of course, that is something we can put in the fermenter. They take eight days to grow, and right now it seems like we're not going to lose our water anyway. So we can start growing some soybeans. It never hurts to have them. It doesn't cost us anything to plant. Uh, canola is going to be put in that uh, presser thing we can't get to yet. The uh, the oil press. Yeah, that's that's a ways off. Seven-day drought. All right, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and deprioritize our dam right there because... That's not going to be really usable for the time being. But we can go ahead and finish building our tanks here. Get some more stuff planted. Oh, they got poles. Just like actual growing soybeans. That's cool. All right. And then our, of course, water wheels are going to stop being useful in a very short order. Just in time for the platform with the, uh, <laughs> the power shaft to be constructed. Oh, that's the way it goes. That is the way it goes. Of course, our friend, the high power shaft, cannot be built yet because we don't have the science or the gears to do anything with that. So for right now, we're going to have our straight power shaft just go all the way around. And then I think we're going to want to keep most of this as farmland. So we'll end up putting uh, probably just some stairs that we can also unlock here in a second as soon as we get some more science points we'll build some stairs up and over nah, nah, nah. like so and then run this right the way under here and then just try to see fermenters I wonder if, yeah, let's actually, we have the opportunity to kind of be intelligent with this, right? So what if we instead did that and put in fermenters right here and right here, turn that one around or we could just leave it out entirely for right now. But that there, we'll get two of those. Set one up for that. One up for soybeans. Yeah, see, now we're going to get ourselves in trouble because we're going to run out of trees. Of course, these won't grow in the uh, in the droughts. So we're going to have to be very careful not to suck up all the water here, but I think we're going to be fine for the next five days. We can always turn it off if we have to. I'm going to make sure we mark our platform and our stairs as high priorities here. Get those built first. We don't need any of this nonsense with the power shafts for 
or we can't use. But I think this is going to end up being really nice. We do have some fermented cassavas right here. We have our kohlrabis. We have our berries, of course, making more little baby beavers all the time, scientifically. And as soon as we get a little bit more into the way of logs, which will be once most of these trees grow here, it's going to be another, I don't know, a couple days into the next temperate cycle. Then we'll probably be okay on that. Can't, other than that, we can't really do too much. Uh, obviously, coming across here is going to allow us to get access to these. So we'll go ahead and put another staircase right there. Just make sure we take advantage of all of our opportunities in that way. And then eventually make our way, maybe not all the way up here at first, but we'll make our way around, especially now there's no district limit in terms of how far your beavers are allowed to go. It's just going to become maybe just a little bit impractical. It's too bad we can't plant when the uh, ground is dry. How are we on uh, water level? All right, that's starting to get low. I'm going to go ahead and pause that. I really miss the automatic, uh, the triggers here. Cannot wait for the mods to update so we can get back to uh, doing all the stuff we need to be doing. Because right now we're kind of on the struggle bus. Just waiting and waiting and waiting because these guys cannot get around to the other side. So just to keep the peace, let's put this path in again temporarily so we can get our guy coming over there to start cutting again. We can really, really use all of that wood. Probably would help if we had somebody in here in the first place, huh? Yeah, we definitely, definitely need those guys in place. Now they can get back to work doing what they want to do. Soybeans are about halfway. Hopefully we can get these done before then. If not, we'll just change this over to soybeans and see what ends up happening with that. Should have paused this a long time ago because we don't have any water going in there. Again, the automatic pausing and unpausing of the water facilities is an amazing thing to have access to. So you better believe as soon as we have mods working, we're going to get those turned back on. But it is fun to get back into the swing of things in vanilla after... I don't know, months of not playing without mods. And I think it's been since, what, December? November, December at least, since we started getting into mods. And uh, as of the posting of this, it will be April 13th. So yeah, suffice to say, we've been a little spoiled for a while. That stuff is looking good here. About to have, if I can click on it. It's not going to let me click on it, huh? I don't think I... There it goes. All right, so that's fine. We'll put our uh, thing back there. Get rid of... Okay, now this is cool. All the buildings are green that it's connected to. That's a new a new change. Let's put our power shaft back in. That's looking good. We've got one day left. I don't think these crops are going to die, dehydrate in one day, so I'm going to turn this pump back on because now our beavers are thirsty again. Just try to head that off before it becomes a big problem. Everything is most likely going to turn out just fine. They'll get to work building the rest of this stuff. I'm sure we got plenty of logs in need there. These are all just pine trees. These are all just birch trees. So we might not have enough here, strictly speaking. But these trees are continuing to grow. There's a couple of these that are only three days away from... Uh, Oh, there we go. All well, that's gone. Let's check out the uh, life expectancy here. Two days, 2.7 days. Ooh, okay, we're going to lose the soybeans. That really sucks. That is actually terrible. They've been growing for six days, and they're going to die because they were out of water for less than a third of a day. I'm actually a little irritated about that. But we literally had no way of knowing. So, it is what it is. What a waste. 
Oh well, we'll get that started again. It is what it is. Not really any way we could have prevented that anyway without uh, just not unpausing the, uh, the water pump, but the beavers have to drink. So we can't really be, uh, can't really be too upset about that. Just live and learn. We'll let these guys get back to planting again. We, we are still fine. We have enough food for right now with our berries. And our farms are going to catch up eventually. We're going to keep expanding all of this stuff on the other side as well. They have plenty of access to things. So let's uh, plant some more soybeans down here. And up here as well. Let's see. Got all this space back here that's not going to be for trees. Let's turn this into cassavas and then little Robbies can come out here. We won't get into canola and corn in today's episode. I don't think that's going to be a uh, thing for a little bit later on. How are we doing on our breeding progress here? I need water, no surprise there. Got a couple trees here. Soybeans just about all replanted. Man, that, that is just... Mm, that tilts me <laughs> to see that all gone to waste. All right, let's, uh, let's put this uh, straight power shaft in so we can at least have something started over here. All right, that's looking good there. I'm going to go ahead and put this power shaft going the other way here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, remove this lumber mill and remove this fermenter and remove our power wheel here. We're going to start automating all this. We'll put our industrial lumber mill on this side right here. Take advantage of both sides of our uh, our infrastructure. We do have a supply of around 150, 160 which should be enough to handle two of these and one of these, more or less. Yeah, get these guys in here. We got to get these, uh, got to get these kits to grow up. And there's a couple different things we can do. Of course, we really don't have the resources to be doing too much of that right now while we're still trying to build up our basic infrastructure. But we can go ahead and check out the new campfire model which I doesn't really look that different to me, to be completely honest with you. Maybe I'm just dense and it didn't actually change. But we'll give it a shot anyway. We'll just stick this guy, say, uh, right about... Yeah, we'll stick that there. That's fine. We don't have to be 100% space efficient all the time. Although it is very nice when you are. Right, these should be growing up. They're very close. Very, very close here. So next up in the construction should be... Yeah, should be these dams here. And all these new things coming up here will be fine there. Oh, we have no log storage. That was a problem we needed to solve. Are you joking? Four days and another drought? I forgot how brutal the hard mode was. Sheesh. All right, well... It's not called easy mode. I can tell you that much. All right, so let's get our uh, logs stored up here. And then I'll put one more small one on the back here for planks. Yeah, soybeans we're not going to have for a really long time, which is a huge bummer because we're... Uh, Oh, there's just, there's no way, there's no way we can build this dam down here, and that really sucks, because now we're, uh, uh, we're not, we're not really in a great spot when it comes to our, uh, our water supply, and it's just getting to be bigger, but it's nothing we can't handle, we've been there before, we will persevere, we will survive, we will adapt, we'll be okay, all the buttons are in different spots, and it's throwing off my muscle memory. Oh, what a dumb thing to have a muscle memory for. But, you know, we have fun. I think I have to put in... We're going to put another pump in. I think I can fit right there. Yep. Then we'll put in another uh, water storage 
here and another one here. You know how the drill goes. Let's actually prioritize uh, the construction of water pump and then this guy and then this guy. Although I think that might actually be the only stuff that's on uh, on pace to be built. I'm going to pause the uh, lumber bill because we already have our planks. We'll get things all situated here. Let's see if we can get anything else, but we're so close. I just need these guys to finish this water pump and uh, these tanks would be really nice. So we can at least have a fighting chance here. As long as we can keep our uh, our soybeans the whole the whole time. I think if we don't pump anything from this side during the drought, we might be okay. So yeah, we're going to pause that immediately because we don't have any irrigation because I haven't been able to research water dumps and I'm not going to build stuff to get to dynamite just yet. So what, what we have is what we have. We are very, very much limited to that. But this will at least help our children grow up a little faster. And we'll see what happens now. Hopefully we can get uh, this built. No, don't go to bed. Don't go to bed. Don't go to bed. Finish this. There you go. Do a little bit more work. You can sleep tomorrow. You'll be okay. All right. So that's uh, taken care of there. I'm going to go ahead and pause this so we don't have any nasty surprises. And then, yeah, seven day drought. Here we go. Pump the rest of this while you can. And that's gone. So then, uh, are we even generating any power? No, not really. All right, so we have our uh, harvests are going to get a little bit a uh, little bit not fun now because we have a uh, well for some reason we have a, some sort of a vortex occurring with our water over here. Don't really know uh, don't really know what's going on there. I don't think that's supposed to be spinning like that, considering there's absolutely no flow occurring. I'm sure it'll stop at some point. We go on normal speed. No, that's that's still actually going. Huh. Well, I mean, if it's feeding power to the thing that makes the food, then you're not going to catch me complaining. Let's see, this stuff, we should be uh, harvesting soybeans. Ooh, we're actually going to harvest these. That's going to be nice. Which means now I kind of want to build, I know, I know, I kind of want to build another one of these power wheels just to uh, have access to all this stuff. But we don't have the... Uh, uh, if I get rid of it, we're going to waste... Why do we have... Why is this on the ground? Oh, that's from the last thing we uh, we had to uh, ferment these. Mm, I guess... Do I have the resources to build one of these? Well, we're going to want this here anyway, so I'll, I'll just put that down and then we'll put in... I always want to click the wrong thing. We'll put our power wheel in on that side. Get it all built up. And then we can, at the very least, start doing something. Because we're going to want these soybeans processed. I am absolutely sure. I cannot believe this is still turning. That is absurd. A very welcome glitch, though. Uh, I will say that. So since we're already over here, we can mark these trees for cutting. Go ahead and get those all done. I don't think any of these guys... Oh yeah, because I moved them over here. There's no way they can reach that. So let's put in another set of... Uh... Oh, we can actually go all the way over here. Cool. I'll just put one more of those guys there. Uh, okay, this of course died because I guess that's what it does. Uh, I'm going to downplay the uh, priority on that thing. Do we actually have extra beavers? Wow. Moving on up, I guess. All right, soybeans. We can probably now start fermenting, so we'll have somebody go in there to start working on that. This game runs so much better now. 
I know we're still very, very early on first episode, but I'm getting 165 FPS pretty much this entire time. So that is fantastic on triple speed, even with a tiny settlement. I mean, you're not going to see 165 FPS in the video, but sure looks nice on this monitor. It also doesn't hurt that we were on, I don't know, 5 or 6 FPS at the end of our last massive Iron Teeth playthrough. So that's, uh, that's fine. I'm just, I'm never going to get over this water wheel just continuing to go. Oh, that's fun. Do we actually have any soybean stuff done? Because we have it in the farmhouse, so I guess, okay, there we go. They've got it in there. Oh, they need canola oil for this? Really? Oh, you're joking. Oh, no. Oh, no. We need the oil press. Okay, well, let's research that. Oh, man. All right. I should have checked that out a long time ago. This, oh, Of course, this requires power, too. Okay. I guess. All right. Um... Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. We'll put in this guy. I don't think I really have to make sure that's prioritized because, well, it's the only thing they have to build. Yeah, but let's get that constructed because then I can put our... Uh, oh, i got to research the gear workshop too. Oh, man. There's just so much to do. So much to do. Boy. All right. Well, I mean, I literally signed up for this starting update 4 on the day it was released with absolutely no foreknowledge. Oh, I, I wake up and I look at my phone, the first thing I see is, oh, time for work on an update. Like, oh, well, I gotta go to work and spend the whole day at work thinking about how, I, uh, how I'm gonna do a new series when I get home. So, it's fun. We get to discover all these new things together. This is normally where I'd ask if you know anything about the, uh, the specific mechanics of the update that I haven't mentioned, please leave a comment. But uh, I'm pretty sure most of the people watching this video will have not played the game yet with that new update, unless you're one of those early birds that has to do it on the same day. In which case, if that's you, please offer your advice. I always am open to uh, any feedback or advice or anything down in the comments. People are nice there, so it doesn't hurt to have some fun new voices for that. Oh, we're out of water again. Ugh. Three days left. How out of water are we? Are we actually thirsty now? We're not thirsty yet. Okay, so we need a gear workshop first. Uh, I don't want to put that there, though. Because the uh, oil press is only two by two. So I guess, uh, no, I can't put that there. I can't do that. I have to do, I literally have to do this one first. All right, um, let's do that. Oh, blueberry seedling, you, you're going to have to go bye-bye. Sorry, buddy. It's for the greater good. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just, we'll just put that there. That's fine. All right, now I need planks, which is a good thing because this guy is in desperate need of more stuff to do. So as long as we can get our... Uh... I cannot believe this is still turning. That is incredible. Getting 21 horsepower in the middle of a drought with absolutely no water movement. That has to be a glitch. But a happy one. All right, now our soybean thing is a uh, big old waste. So we don't have any canola oil, but hey, at least we have some grown and all these other crops continuing to go. What else requires canola oil? I guess I can just, uh, oh, we can't even build mushrooms yet. Build mushrooms. What am I saying? We can't do mushrooms yet because that requires the hydroponic garden, which requires metal, which we don't have. And it's, oh, it's far away. It's over here or over here. We're not going to get to that for a while. Good news is we just need another uh, 16 planks for a gear workshop so we can make gears so we can make an oil press with more planks and more gears. Oh, what fun. The good news is these cycles and these droughts are short, so you're going to get a full three cycles and part of a fourth in our very first episode, so we might actually get somewhere. 
even if this is really, really ugly looking and not ideal in the way it's laid out at all, it's fine. We're here to learn, here to have a good time. There's no more trees to cut. Yes, there is. There's one right there. I'll have you cut that. Then you can uh, retire and we'll have you go do something else. All right, so now we're out of materials. No, okay, now we're uh, we're very thirsty beavers. Oh, we are very thirsty beavers. All right, so here's what we're going to do after I forgot that we had beavers that were very thirsty. Oh, they're going to die of thirst. Oh, this is the catastrophe. Absolute unmitigated catastrophe. And it's all my fault. It's all my fault. All right, that's done. All right, drink something. Please do not die of thirst. I will be roasted in the comments section forevermore for having beavers die of thirst. Even though this is hard mode. I am a seasoned veteran. I should not commit such simple mistakes. All right, that meter is going up. That's a good sign. Looking good, looking good. And we didn't run out of water in the uh, thing, but this is now no longer rotating. Much to my chagrin, but that is fine. As long as her beavers don't die of thirst, then I think that is all worth it. Okay, we need God, still six more planks. Come on. Come on, get this thing done. Let's go. Oh, that's right. I paused. No, I didn't pause this. This guy's just asleep. All right. Oh, that's fine. And the route's over. So that's excellent news. Now we can get everything back to normal. We'll have our water come back very shortly. And we'll go ahead and get these turned back on in a little bit as well. Looks like we have just enough beavers to man them. For right now, at least. Come on, let's get these gear workshops online. I want to start making fermented soybeans where we call it a day on our first episode of Update 4. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All that power. And we should start to get, yeah, more of these trees. So I'm going to unpause our dam down here. Yeah, that's looking nice. Now we have a gear workshop that can workshop some gears. Of course, they need planks to do it, and we need 20 gears and 20 planks to make our oil press, so uh, this might be a long one, folks. It might be a while before we actually see this thing in action. But the good news is we're continuing to grow these other crops, even if they are not so much fun, a little boring, a little safe, it is what it is. Now, see, so we also have these trees over here. Mark those for cutting. And now that we don't have to worry about district limits anymore, come on over here with another one of these guys. Actually, will this fit everything? It sure will. So congratulations, my friend. You get to move all the way over there. And that's not going to be at range still. No. We should plant some more trees up here, shouldn't we? I'm not going to have seven planks. But the trees probably should all be up here, in all honesty. Even though I... Oh, you're joking. We have three days? Come on now. That is cruel and inhuman punishment. Well, I guess we're not humans anywhere. We're supposed to be beavers. That's fine. Oh, uh, we're not gonna get here. We, well, I don't know. We might stand a chance, maybe. Oh, I don't have enough science to unlock levees either. Uh. Well, I'll tell you what. As soon as we get to 120, I'm gonna replace some of these with regular levees. I'll tell you that. So I think, I don't think they can build this many that fast. Come on, come on, could be, could be one more, one more, one more. 
You can do it. One more. One more. Seriously? Give me one more science point, I swear. Oh, come on. All right. That's fine. It is what it is. There we go. Unlock that thing. Levy's right there. Good to go. Now, we do have five uh, water source blocks up here, I think, is the, uh, the count. Yeah, so we theoretically should have uh, five of these be regular dam pieces. But for right now, I think we just want them to exist no matter what they are. So I will take whatever gets built the fastest. So I'm going to turn that one into a levee as well. We're going to end up making this taller anyway in, well, not too long. I think we should still stand a decent chance of uh, getting this finished as long as we can have enough wood. Which, hopefully, we can. Alright, uh, in the interest of not having everyone starve to death or die of thirst, I'm going to undo all of these guys, have them come work in the lumberjack flags, cut down some more trees, and build our levees. We still don't have anywhere for our poor beavers to sleep either. But that is not an episode one problem. That is very far removed from an episode one problem. All right, we've got 0.9 days. It's a marathon day, friends. 24 hours. Final push. Let's go. Let's get this thing done. Who else can I... All right, you're paused. You're going to be a worker. You're paused. You're going to be a worker. Yes, I know. We need, we need planks to make gears, but we don't need planks to make a levee. All right. Can we, can we make it? Can we make it? We got half a day left. Got half a day left. We should have most of the wood. All right. All right. We're going to do it. We're going to do it because no one's going to go to sleep. It's like that Beastie Boys song. Instead of no sleep till Brooklyn's, no sleep till levees. And then I'm still probably not going to let them sleep. Yeah, look at that. We did it. We did it. We got it done. Of course, this is not going to have any uh, any depth to it, but that doesn't matter because we're going to have some stored down here that'll keep these trees alive. And there we go. Six day drought. Let's go ahead and uh, just let these guys pump as much as they can. I'm going to restart our, uh, our buildings here. Let them do their thing. All right, because we have everything squared away here, at least for the time being. We need another eight gears for our oil press to work. They're in the process of being made. I can take this off of a 24-hour workday. And there we go. We've got six days. We'll go through this drought here in cycle four, and then we'll call it for today's episode, see how much we can actually get away with here. Pause these two things. Pause this thing. And, uh... Focus on getting everything else taken care of. These crops are going to die, which is unfortunate. But let's go ahead and prioritize our harvesting. Get that all taken care of. Yeah, because these are all good to... Uh, well, these aren't. But these are all good to harvest. So let's get those. Yeah, they're going to want to... Uh, they're going to want to harvest all these first, but let's uh, let's see if we can get them to harvest these guys since they're already right here. Something tells me they're not going to be able to do it, though. 1.7 days, 1.8 days. Come on, just come up here. Just come up here and do it. It's fine. There we go. They're finally, finally coming up in this way. They might be able to get it done. Okay, someone's exhausted. Understandable. I know you want somewhere to sleep, but I can't do that yet. I still have to build an oil press. And I need gears that I can't make because I don't have planks, but we're making planks. More logs. Everyone's exhausted. That's okay. Sleep well. You've earned it. We got our we got our dam completed so these trees can continue to grow. That is fantastic work there. And then we'll have to uh, continue turning this into a... Uh, Nice big dam. Which actually we could do. 
could do right now. Oh yeah, look, they were ready with those logs. They heard me talking trash earlier. They were ready. And now let's, let's try and harvest some Kohlrabios over here. Or you can keep doing those. I guess they're closer. That's fine. Just... I wish I wish they would harvest these first. Like if there was some sort of way to tell them that, hey, this is going to die. Come get it. Or it's going to be wasted. But no, they only want the easy ones. <sighs> what a shame. All right, so these are all... These are all lost cause at this point. Oh well. Alright, I can take the uh, thing off here. And I believe what we'll do is we'll turn this... I know we don't have a, we don't have a lot of wood right now, but we are going to be able to cut some more pretty soon. So I think I feel pretty comfortable putting in right there and then uh, right here as well put those guys in I think we'll maintain our five wide over here in just a little bit as soon as we can actually build another dam piece I want to make sure we get these in place all right, how are we still still need gears, huh? Well, it is what it is. Really was hoping I'd be able to get at least this done by the end of the first episode. All right, 59 water left. We have three days. We're not quite in panic mode just yet. Not quite yet. Oh, they're so slow. It's because oh, it's because this is okay. All right, that makes sense. It's just gonna take us a very long time. Now we gotta plant some more kohlrabis anyway. Forgot to turn that back on. This is looking okay. I guess we can go ahead and have. Okay, now they're already going. We're fine. We're just a little uh, just a little slow here. All right, we got three more years left. Can we do that in three days? Somehow I'm uh, not super optimistic about it. Okay. Now I think I can safely remove this thing. Yep, because we have the other thing there. Replace this with a levy. Then harvest the uh, pieces. Then very slowly start putting in dams up here. Let them do what they need to do. We still have guys working here. Yeah, we'll just make those normal. That's fine. Are we any closer to this? 18. All right. Uh, at the speed of smell. Still have this incredible glitch that the water wheel can move when there's absolutely no water flow happening. I'm just, I'm not mad. <laughs> I can't be mad at that. Let's see, otherwise, um, I think we're doing fine. I think we just have to wait now. We've got so much else going on, we can't really, uh, can't really do too much. Except wait. The good news is, the hardest part is always the very beginning of the game. When you don't have any resources, you have to build your infrastructure and all that at the same time. Got one day left. Let's turn on our water pump again. Because we're starting to get a little thirsty. We will uh, we will appease their demands for additional water rations. Build another dam piece. Man, I really miss the metal floodgates right about now. And all those other very, very convenient things. All right. That's looking good. We already harvested the logs there. Got half a day left. And we got our oil pressing. Completely missed that coming up. 
Oh, that's a disgusting sound. Let's hear that again. Mmm, what a wet, squelching noise. Alright, now that that's uh, firmly implanted in your nightmares, we'll go ahead and have somebody... Oh, we're gonna get we're gonna get used to hearing that one. I'll tell you what. Um, we'll go ahead and get somebody working in here. We can probably cool it on the uh, the lumber mill here. I forgot that takes two bodies. Well, that's fine. We'll go ahead and uh, deprioritize the gear workshop as well. But here's the end of the drought. Start of cycle five. Water's coming back slowly. We'll go ahead and right now, since we're already here. Just go ahead and uh, finish this out. Gonna have to build this one piece at a time. Or we can be... Uh, we can be intelligent. Oh, this is gonna flood, isn't it? No, maybe not. I think eventually it will. Let's go ahead and put in our uh, levy here. Well, you said you'd stop at the... Uh, you'd stop at the end of the... No, no, no. Well... Life happens, kid. I say to my audience of mostly men in their 30s. <laughs> oh, it is what it is. Let's open that all the way up. Put in levees on the bottom. That needs to be rotated, except no one's ever going to see it, so it doesn't matter. Damn pieces there, and then we'll let them go ahead and finish this up. We should have access to enough wood to make this happen without too much further fanfare. So yeah, there we go. Survived handily the first four cycles. We have a disgustingly wet squelching noise of a uh, oil press. Mmm, what a sound. I don't know if you've ever worked with Foley in a film. Let me know in the comments, what do you think they actually recorded to get that sound? Oh man, that is is disgusting. But it makes it makes that part of my brain that imagines how sounds are made just so incredibly curious. That is just horrifying. All right, we'll get this uh we'll get the rest of this stuff finished up as we're uh saying goodbye for today but yeah so there it is our first episode in update four for timberborn and it seems like we just got update three i know it was back in what september i think that dropped so i guess it really has been quite a while but it's really nice to see another update to this game obviously we like it here on the channel i've made i guess this is technically the ninth series even if the eighth one was only two episodes we're gonna get back to that don't worry but yeah this is a this is going to be a whole lot of new challenges, new fun to uh, experiment with as we move on through this series. I think we're probably past the worst of it now in terms of assured survival or destruction. We'll just keep on growing in measured amounts and figuring out what it is we have to do here. But I'm so glad you came here to uh, check this out today. we got plenty more coming. I'm thinking maybe this weekend we'll try and do a live stream continuation or maybe a restart, depending on if the mechanics are completely screwed up, of our Drowned Nightmare mode. That map does still work. I tested it with the update. Obviously, a bunch of stuff got changed, including all of the food stuff. And some of the trees are different, of course, as well as we previously discussed. So we'll see if that's uh, still tenable. I might try to do a live stream Saturday for that. Uh, no guarantees. But I will uh, try and certainly do my best. Let's see what will happen with that. Of course, we have more Ostrov coming tomorrow. And then uh, going to try and do another Anno video for Sunday. Probably no live stream Sunday, so uh, we will try again for that Saturday one. If I have time to do on Sunday, I will, but it probably won't be in the afternoon. we got some other fun family stuff going on. But yeah, thanks for being here. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or just anything in general you want to say about the uh, update or ideas or anything for this playthrough, drop them down below in the comments. I do read every single comment. I can't respond to every single one, but I do read them, and I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this. And I hope whatever you're doing, you have a fantastic and a safe time. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for being here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.